Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question number two from the International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P4 exam, which is from October 2021. And this question here is about how to find the particular solution of this differential equation. Now, a differential equation is an equation which starts off having um, dy dx in it. Okay, we only deal with such equations which are first order. Differential equations in P4. We don't have equations that deal with dx squared, dy, d, d squared, d squared y, dx squared, or d cubed y, dx cubed. We only deal with dx, dy, dy dx. All right. So we have to basically um, find a way of expressing this in the form y equals f of x. Basically, removing the dy, dx somehow, which of course we can see will be done by through integration. So in order for me to um, get rid of this dy dx and to express it as y equals some function of x, what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate both sides with respect to x. So this is the integral of dy dx with respect to x. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other. So I must also integrate the other side also with respect to x. Okay, this is how I always like to start off, to just to show what we're doing to one side of an equation, we do to the other side. That's how the basics of solving equations, right? Now, what happens here is you can think about this as the dx's cancel out, and on this side you're left with 1 dy, and on this side you're left with 4y squared over the square root of 4x plus 5 with respect to x. Now, what I'm going to also do here is I'll rewrite this as... I'll rewrite this as... 4x plus 5 to the power of a half. Okay, now, we have now, on the left side of the equation, we have the integral of um, something dy. On the, on the right side, we have the integral with respect to x. So this side, anything on this side has to be integrated with respect to y. Anything on this side is going to be integrated with respect to x. So all the terms which have y in them should be on the side which says dy, and all the terms which have x in them should be on the side which says dx. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, divide both sides by y squared. So this y, the y squared term ends up on this side. So if I divide both sides by y squared, basically this will be 1 over y squared, which is the same as y to the power of negative 2. And on this side, I'll take out the constant, the 4, that's there, and I'll express this in a form which can be integrated easily. So I'll write this with the um, negative a half power and in the numerator. Okay, now, from here, most people will just integrate and put plus c as a constant of integration. And then to find the particular solution, they would substitute y equals a third and x equals minus a quarter into the answer. I like to do in this way. I like to put the limits in in the beginning. So I'll put the limit for y and x. And then when y is um, when y is one third, x is minus a quarter. So I'm going to put a third here. When y is a third, x is minus a quarter. That automatically, when I solve this like has definite integrals, I will find the value of c automatically by doing this. And I, f I find that way easier. So now here we have to integrate. So I'm going to integrate. So I'm going to um, add one to the power and divide by the new power. Um, the limits are y and one third. And here I'm going to add one to the power. So I have 4x plus 5 to the power of a half. Then I have to divide by the new power, which is a half, and also multiply by the differential of what's inside the function, which is 4. So you also divide the denominator, you multiply the denominator by the differential of what's inside the function. This is um, the reverse of the chain rule because outside the function, before you um, integrate it, you see there's a constant. And the differential of what's inside the function is also a constant. So to integrate something like this, you can use reverse of the chain rule. All right, so you add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and also you multiply the denominator by the differential of what's inside the function, which is 4. Okay, and now I've got my limits of x and minus a quarter. So now I can simplify this. This is going to give me... Um, minus 1 over y, okay, and I'll just leave the minus outside for now, 
put y in one third. And this is going to give me a half times uh, a quarter is two. Four divided by two is two. So I'll put two out here. And this will be four x plus five. And the power of half means the square root. So I'll write it like that, ready to put the, the values in. And now I can just simplify this. So this is going to be minus, um, I'll have one over y and minus one over a third equals two times I'm going to have um, the square root of 4x plus 5 minus the square root of 4 times minus a quarter is minus 1 minus 1 plus 5 is 4. Okay, now uh, to simplify this a bit more, I'm going to multiply both sides by minus 1 to get rid of this minus. So I'll have 1 over y um, minus 3 equals minus 2 times. I've just multiplied both sides by minus 1, so this became minus now. Um, the square root of 4x plus 5 minus 2. And then I've got 1 over y minus 3 equals, and this is minus 2 times minus 2, which is 4, minus 2 times the square root of 4x plus 5. So 1 over y is equal to 7. 4 plus 3 is 7, minus 2 times the square root of 4x plus 5. And... Here, we want to write it in the form y equals f of x, which is how we solve these equations. So I can just write the reciprocal of both sides. So 1 over y um, equals 7 minus 2 times the square root of 4x plus 5 is the same as y equals 1 over 7 minus 2 times the square root of 4x plus 5. Just write the reciprocal of both sides because you can think of all of this over 1. Okay, and there's the answer. To the question, I found the particular solution. I found the value of the C that we would have had to write if we didn't use definite integrals. I've much, much preferred this method where I put the values of the limits in and you know when y is the third, x is minus a quarter, so we put y and x on top, and then the, the values they give you in, in the bottom part of the limits, and you automatically find C as you're you know calculating that. I find it way easier to do that. And there's the answer for that question. I hope that was useful. Um, other questions about or from this paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area over here. Other questions about differential equations from P4 can be found in the playlist. Um, in fact, just integration in general can be found in this playlist that should be appearing in this area. You, you can subscribe to my channel if you wish by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.